Brian's currently in my bedroom and he's filming this podcast that they're on. But I set up here and I was about to shoot today's vlog and I didn't put my memory card in here. All my memory cards are in the room, my bedroom, where Brian is currently filming uh, this podcast. So I fucked myself. There, I did it. Mike's vlog. Mike's vlog. Mike's vlog. Mike's vlog. Quick update. I was able to text Brian and he snuck out, paused his uh, podcast real quick and was able to grab me a memory card. So thank you very much to Brian. And now it's time to shoot. We're running on the clock. You'll see what we're trying to do here and why we needed the time. I'm making pasta from scratch. Never tried this before. Should be fun. Um, I literally didn't watch a video or, or do any of the stuff. I kind of looked at the ingredients. I know how to make dough from pizza, so it's gotta be the same fucking thing, right? We're gonna figure it out. Um, first things first, I'm gonna get some wine going. I'm not a wine guy. You know, I've drank wine throughout the years, you know, on a date or something, but I just, it's not for me. Pinot Noir, I'd have to say, if I've had to pick a wine, is my favorite. So, um, I only have this one bottle of wine, which we're probably gonna burn through pretty quickly while I'm doing this, so. When you're cooking pasta, I feel like you have to have wine. Also, always keep a bottle of champagne in your house. It doesn't matter if it's the cheap stuff, obviously, if you got the money, blow it on the good stuff. But always keep at least one bottle ready because you never know on any given day if there's a reason to celebrate. Like if something happens in this world where you're like, you know what, today's the day we gotta celebrate. You gotta have that champagne ready to pop at all times. So always keep one in your house. There's a million reasons why. You don't need to drink it every day, but like there's always a reason to pop it. So keep that ready. Now let's get into this. We're gonna change uh, camera angles here and uh, have some wine and start cooking. We're doing an Italian grandmother style, just on the table. We're just going for it. I'm not, I, I'm not gonna try a bowl or anything like I normally do. We're gonna go for it the real way. Let's try it. We're gonna start with two cups of flour. You don't know how much flour you need until you end up needing more flour or less flour, in which case you go back in time because you can't get less fucking flour, be honest. Um, we're gonna try to make a little uh, volcano like when you were a kid and you got the baking soda going. We're gonna try and make this tight walls here because importantly, see this is gonna break. This already sucks. It's never a real levy man. Doing half a teaspoon of salt, half a tablespoon of oil, three eggs. No, I obviously got a fucking crack. We are losing some egg over there. This is a problem. This is why you should have fortified the walls. Quickly to rectify that, we are gonna add wine. <sighs> okay, now we're gonna try and stir in some of this egg lightly to this flour. We're gonna need more flour for sure. Okay, once you're basically completely gassed out from trying to knead this, then you can fuck around with this wrap, which is a piece of shit itself. So, then we're gonna just put this in the fridge for about a half hour. Good enough. Nothing needs to be perfect, there we go. Okay, well I got the dough going for a half hour and it wasn't doughy enough, so I add a little water, smoothed it out, and we're just letting it sit for another half hour because I think we fucked it up the first time, which means more wine. Of course, when I'm not filming a step, I click the right burner. I'm gonna skip the part of cooking chicken because you've seen me cook chicken before. Let's focus on the dough. Now the dough is not as good as my pizza dough, but it's pretty good. Smacked it to make sure it feels right. Now we're gonna cut the dough into quarters and roll it out as thin as possible. 
I did not do a good job of rolling it out thin. Let's blame the roller. Let's blame the stove I'm rolling it on. Everything but me. It couldn't possibly be my fault, but it is. So instead of this, let's speed it up and hit the fucking music. Now we're going to cut out what we think should be fettuccine size strips, but you realize they're kind of too fat and weird. Definitely too thick, so whatever. We got to go with it. It's time to cook. We're getting hungry. Okay, we're going to use about a half a pound of butter and then that whole thing of heavy whipping cream. Let it simmer for a little bit, melt that butter down, then we're going to season it up. Oh, fuck. I forgot about the pasta water. We got to get the pasta water boiling and then drop those fucking nudes in there. I did not use the big enough pot. We have to come off the pot. It's about to boil over. Also, the butter's about to start burning. This is a huge mistake. I gotta pull them off, pull it on. Huge mistake. We fucked up everything here. We need to season up the sauce a little bit, so I'm gonna add some spices to it. I'm out of pepper, so I'm using crushed red pepper. Fuck me, whatever. That sounds all right. And most importantly, the cheese. There's no bullshit like folding it in. We're dumping in cheese. We're whisking it around, melting it. Let's fucking go. This is a very simple part. for the taste you made some gorp yeah homemade uh first attempt at pasta the i think you need a pasta machine i feel like they were too thick they need to be thinner the rolling pin i have was not good at rolling it out enough mm. so i think they're gonna be a little rubbery but you know only one way to find out i added peas a little bit that was a your suggestion but yeah why not right Flavor's good. Pasta's a little bit. Yeah. That was pretty tasty, actually. Yeah, I feel like the noodles are a little. No, but not at all. Like, honestly, if anything, it reminds me of like, like stroganoff noodles a little bit. Yeah, well, yeah, because they're too big. Chicken came out fucking good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's not hard to cook chicken though, so. But, yeah, all right, you know what? a lot of Parmesan in here. It's just a lot of cheese in this. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Parmesan, good. that's what it is. Um, I actually didn't have enough Parmesan. Wow. I put what I had left, but you needed like a full two cups, so I put a little bit less. Again, recipes, you just, you don't follow them. You just do your own thing. You live, you learn. Yeah, you know what? That's pretty good. No, I'm like happy it. with it. Yeah. All right, another cooking video down the drain. Well, not down the drain, down the, down in my mouth, it's good. I'm just crushing this right now. Yeah, I'm gonna eat too. <laughs>